record as well. So, um, so hello, Joe Bailey. Um, I'm Christian McNeil. I'm um, doing this recording with you, this conversation with you on behalf of Supermind. And it's to tell anybody watching about the webinar series we have coming up um, in relation to the field of addiction and the name of the series is Uncovering Resilience in Addiction Recovery um, and I'm delighted it's a real honour for me to be working with you um, as you know I've been in recovery for many many years and yours was one of the most inspirational books that I came across um, when, when I first got sober I did not fully grasp the message then, I have got to say, and it, it was quite a number of years later um, before I came back to what we um, sometimes call the three principles paradigm, as various names, the inside out recovery. Um, but it has been wonderful to meet you in person. Um, it's an extraordinary uh, kind of um, development and, and it's been a, a wonderful part of my recovery to, to to get to know you and your work um, so I'm delighted to be doing this series with you and I, I think it's um, very nice in some ways I feel I have the, the sort of um, experience of the, the the person who's been through it and, and you have the um, you have your, your own personal experience of course but also your professional expertise so perhaps if I hand it over to you now to say a little bit about how you see this that'd be great well, the, the feeling is mutual, Christian, you know, <laughs> teaching with you. And so this is going to be fun. I thank you for asking me to do this webinar series with you uh, on uncovering resilience um, for um, recovery from addiction. I think that's what we chose. Re um, uncovering resilience in addiction recovery. <laughs> there we I like that. There we go. Got to get the title down. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I've been, you know, I came into um, this field very young. I, I was trained as a clinical psychologist and was put in charge of the alcoholism program at a mental health center. So I kind of got in from the back door in terms of working in the field of recovery and spent about 10 years working in a more traditional approach until I learned about the three principles paradigm or three principles psychology, which really was the for me, the missing piece in my own recovery, because I was a member of Al-Anon, but also in um, helping other people who were recovering from addictions or struggling with addictions or family members. And for me, it was the kind of the science underneath uh, the principle of letting go, the principle of uh, um, what we've been pointing to in a lot of treatment programs, but we didn't really understand how to do it other than through slogans and through, you know, uh, trying to let go of the past or trying to live in the moment and all these things. And what Sydney Banks pointed to, which really transformed my whole life from a burned out, stressed out addiction professional to one who thrived for the next uh, 40 years in the profession and still am uh, because I found uh, kind of the, the underlying principles behind how I was creating my stress, my anxieties, my dreads, my worries from the inside, how through the power of my own mind I was creating that. So for the last 40 years, I've been working with treatment centers and with people with alcoholism and drug addictions and having the privilege of sharing this understanding with them, uh, which has had profound transformational, it's helped the transformative process. I, I, I met with the director of Hazelden once and he said, the $64,000 question is how do you get the light to turn on? Because when you see that in a person in recovery, when the lights come back on, when they had that aha moment, they, from that point forward, they see the world differently. They're unburdened from their disease, from their compulsion to, to use. And for me, the three principles paradigm that we're gonna be talking about in this webinar series is that secret ingredient that I think um, has been alluded to and pointed to, but not really fully understood. And um, this seminar series, Christian and I will be 
exploring with each other and with all of you uh, what that means for your, your life so that recovery doesn't have to be a struggle, that it doesn't have to just be about sobriety, it can be about thriving in life, uh, and all of the other issues that come along with um, being in, involved in an addiction or with someone who has an addiction these principles that we'll talk about will help all of us to uh, deal with everything in life, not just recovery from our addiction. Oh, lovely, lovely, yeah. Um, just listening to you talk there, Joe brought up so much for me. I, there is no doubt that for, for me, that, getting into recovery was a massive step forward yeah, the, 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 you, there was a night and day element f f about that um but i think i unwittingly um bought into an idea that i was can, I, I was still sort of broken I, I was over i knew that i was free of the the need to to drink I, um, and, and I was very grateful for that. Um, I was very grateful that my, I wasn't living in the kind of chaos I had been, but I still had this notion that I was kind of a bit of an emotional cripple, if you like, um, and that uh, constant vigilance was required and constant work um, in order to be sort of nearly normal. If I worked as hard as I could, I could be nearly normal. And I now see that as just a complete misunderstanding. And um, I, the very first training I went in, 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 to, in relation to the three principles, I heard somebody talking about, you, you know, you, you're not broken. And I heard the truth of that. It wasn't the fact that they were saying it, but it was the fact that it, it, it resonated deeply with me. I knew it was the truth. I knew that this whole notion of being broken was just a misunderstanding. Um, and, and from there, um, I, I, I was able to see the thing that I hadn't fully grasped is, you know, as, as I say, when I, when I first read your book, which was my misreading of it, but I hadn't been able to see how I was using these principles that we've touched on this, this um, um, three principles paradigm, how I was using that against myself. I didn't, because so much of my thinking um, was invisible. It was automatic. It was instant. And, and I just would just find myself in a, in some kind of emotional state. I, I, I couldn't see the role of thought. So I didn't, I, I couldn't really get the value of knowing that that's what was going on. I didn't really know what to do with it. I was a bit stuck. And, and what's become clear since, um, is that I, I now get that entirely. And I, I, I it's, it's still, um, thought can, can come up and I can be caught up in my, my feelings, but it's not, um, it doesn't mean the same thing. I used to think that my feelings were telling me about myself, my, my value as a human being, my, um, uh, my emotional state or, or, or you know, about uh, um, my, the, the, the value of my recovery. And I now just see that we all go in and out and in and out and in and out. And, 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 and that what's happening there is much less important to me. And at the same time, I'm, I've had the opportunity to feel much more connected with that essence of, of who I am. And, and, and I believe that all of us have, a, have an essence that is unbroken, um, where there's the, this unlimited potential for fresh thought, solutions, creativity, well-being, resilience and resourcefulness. And what's extraordinary to me is um, it, simply in hearing that because it's true and because people actually do have already had um have show up in their own lives or had already shown up in my life the, the, the truth of it very quickly becomes evident the changes that occur for people are very um are often very swift and profound um and and the other thing that i have noticed about this paradigm is that Changes are long lasting. It's not a sort of um, seminar high that people get and, and there's kind of love in and then they go back to life and it's as, as difficult and as much of a struggle as ever that people have a, a change at depth that seems to be long lasting. And that's certainly been my experience. Yeah. I, I kind of re stumbled across the principles, if you like, um, seven years ago. And those have, last seven years, have without doubt been the, 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 the happy, happiest 
and most serene of my life, although they certainly haven't been without their challenges. Yeah. Hmm. That's beautiful. Thank you. Uh, I think that's the, the, uh, what I loved about what you just said, Christian, is that resilience isn't something that we have to acquire or work at or find. It's something that we already are. Mm. And it's really, that's why the title is Uncovering Resilience. It's, it's, it's been covered up with a lot of extra erroneous, unnecessary thinking that's invisible to us. And it sounds so simple, and it is really simple, and it's very profound and very deep. And um, what I hear from my clients who embraced the principles and had some insight about them is that they said their recovery is so much easier than it was. They don't have all this struggle that it, it, it seems so natural that being serene is a natural state. And the unnatural state is when their mind gets all caught up again in their worries or compulsions. Yeah. And they can more quickly recognize that and get off that bus and get back to their natural state of resilience. So, so that's what we're hoping for all of you to yeah. experience in this, in this webinar series. Um, and we'll have conversations about this and it's, it's open to uh, anyone who is not in recovery, but wants to be, or people who are in recovery, but don't feel complete or whole. They're looking for more wholeness, for more depth, for more serenity, uh, or for family members who are affected by someone who has an addiction and they're looking for a way to deal with that in a way that they don't lose their own resilience. So it's, it's really open to all and into helpers who work in the addiction field. Uh, understanding these principles will help you be more effective and more resilient and have more staying power to work in your career. So maybe Christian, you could say a little bit of, about the details of the, of the seminar series. Uh, uh, the, yeah. Certainly. So we're going to do um, a, a five-episode se five series starting on Monday, the 23rd of April at 7.30 UK time. So all the details will be, <laughs> we'll put that um, uh, uh, on the Supermind site. Um, the link will be in the comments below this video. Um, the cost is... £99 for the series and you can pay through the Supermind site again. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to either message me here on Facebook or send a, send a, a link to um, send an email to Supermind. And there will be one of the, the there will be a break um, on the 14th of May when we're not, I'm not available for that particular night. So the, the fifth week will take place after that. Um, and yeah, it just occurred to me, Joe, um, that I, I've heard you talk before about the difference between getting this intellectually. The ideas are very, very simple, very easy to pick up intellectually, and then seeing them at an insightful level. And it occurred to me that I guess I got some of it intellectually all those years ago when I first read your book. And this was down to me. It was, it was just that I, just, I, I didn't know what I didn't you know. And what has occurred to me more recently in the last decade is getting it at a real insightful, life-changing level. And, and I, I think that's, that, uh, that's what we hope that people joining this um, webinar series will have, that, that, that deep change at, de that change at, at, at a, an insightful level, a transformational level. Yeah, so of course. Interested. Get in touch. You can't make that happen for you. Mm. Uh, we can't even make it happen for ourselves, but we can Quite. be open to it and uh, willing. And that's all that's really required for this webinar series is an open heart and an open mind. And maybe hear something beyond what you already know intellectually or even intuitively. And this will help give you a framework for uh, gaining a deeper sense of the insight about how our mind actually works to uncover our resilience. So we look forward to seeing you and um, the, this will also be available on my Facebook page and you can um, email me uh, through that if you have any questions. I uh, look forward to seeing all of you there. Yes. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.